And changes coming to Virginia's mental health care system. This happens five months after Virginia State Senator Cree Deeds was stabbed. He was stabbed by his son, Gus. Hours earlier, Gus Deeds had been released from a mental health evaluation because of a lack of room. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg is here with what the changes will mean. Jeff. Well, Gordon, Senator Cree Deeds returned to Richmond this year, committed to making changes to the mental health system, and today's action is the result of that work. The event today taking place at UVA Medical Center, where Deeds was treated and recovered following that horrible day. With Senator Cree Deeds and his daughter Rebecca by his side, Governor Terry McAuliffe signs legislation intended to prevent another tragedy like the one experienced by the Deeds family. But let us be crystal clear. We have a long, long way to go. On November 19th of last year, Deed's son Gus stabbed his father in the face, then shot and killed himself at their home in rural Bath County. Before the incident, Gus was under an emergency custody order, or ECO, but when a bed could not be found at a nearby facility within the six-hour time limit, Gus was released. This new legislation will extend an ECO up to 12 hours and creates a registry for available hospital beds. We still have a lot of work to do. Both Deeds and Governor McAuliffe want more training for mental health providers and improved communication between the 40 different community service boards across the Commonwealth. I expect over the next four years between the work of the task force, the governor's task force, and the work of our study commission, we're going we're to remake the system for mental health care. Daryl Washington is the deputy director of the Fairfax Falls Church Community Services Board, which coordinates mental health services. I mean, these can be really potential life-saving situations, situations when people are truly in crisis. An agreement on that issue coming from Prince William County's Community Service Board. Executive Director Alan Wooten saying this, it helps that the state will be actively engaged with us if we are experiencing difficulty and it ramps up the people, power, resources and expertise involved in the process. Another major goal and challenge in this effort, advocates say, is doing everything possible to remove the stigma often associated with mental illness. Reporting live, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.